What's up, my V-Loves? You guys, today we are eating Korean food. This is going to be my first time, my husband's first time tasting rice cakes. Which one's a rice cake? This in, in the middle. In the middle? Yes. Okay. So, we're going to have him say grace. Heavenly thank Father, you. we thank you for this food and drink that we're about to receive. As, you know, I start buying another drink. Well, babe, we figured that out later. <laughs> we figured that out later. Lord, we ask that you bless it to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So what All you right. want? What you want? Uh, oh, there's a bottle water. Water. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. It's not going to... No ice it's in okay. it. It's okay. I'll just need... I have the know. bottles of water on deck. Okay. Right. So, okay. you ready to dig in? I'm ready. Are you really ready? I'm going to do something with these chopsticks. Are you super ready? Look at that, y'all. This is some good food, Korean food. What you know about that, huh? What you know about that? Do you know about that? I know about that. You need some help? No, no. Basically, you're trying to tell me, hurry up. <laughs> That's, I, I already know your language, so you can already hang that one up. Uh, y'all know y'all know your spouse's language, right? Look, they after be trying so to, long, you, you should know. They be trying to say, hurry up, woman. Like, what? What's taking you so long? Yep, I'm hungry. Let's get it in. Did you have to drive far to get this? Uh, it's a, it took me. This is from Sora. Sora Korean Kitchen. Um, probably 12 minutes. That's not bad. Not even a expressway, though. That's not bad. Mm -mm, well, not I mean, at all. That's not bad still, though. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. Now, this is what I want. This is a rice cake. It's what I want, y'all. These beef tip ribs. These beef ribs, what y'all know about that? I'm gonna try one and they of sweet ribs. too, y'all. They get, they come with all these onions. I know y'all catching oh, them, with my them be good. Man, you want some? Yeah. You want to give them yourself? I'm going to take one. One? I'm going to try mm. one. Go and ahead on. I, I might have to come back. But you got you to try these stuff too. I'm going to try two. You got to try kimchi. Ew. We gonna do it the first time. Wow. Thing. Kimchi, really? Yeah, kimchi. That's what we doing. Yeah, you ready? What else you got over there? That is kimchi. I think this is tofu. That's we gonna try tofu. that. We gonna try some kimchi. We got some slaw here. Okay. Some Korean slaw, and we got some pickled slaw. Okay. So. And then what is the zucchini over there? And zucchini. Okay. Okay. Well, let's try it. Okay. Let's try okay. These, okay. These, uh, these cheater chopsticks. Mm. You need yours to be yours are okay? Mm-hmm. Mm. It smells so good too. Mm-hmm. Mm. These are You love that barbecue. Mm, that's that. Mm. Always. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Yeah. That is the like bomb. I said before. Their rice cakes are chewy. Mmm. Mmm, good. I only put one of those on my plate. He always one of the most. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They spicy, too. All right. Mm-hmm. I love. Anyway, y'all. That Korean barbecue is really good. It's always. He love that. Mm-mm-mm. I knew I couldn't go wrong with that. Yeah. Marinated in some sweet sauce, don't you, baby? Yeah. I don't know what exactly it is, but it's got that good grill flavor, mm -hmm. but it's sweet. And tender. Mm, super tender. Mm hmm. Mm. And it's not teriyaki. Uh mm. But it makes you want to suck the bone. Mm hmm. Mm mm mm. That's some good stuff. It was super tender too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It had a very good flavor. Amazing flavor. Yeah, I know I'm a steak man. I gotta have me some steak. Mm. Look here. Me and her. She definitely deserves to my turf. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> definitely a serve. That, that. I mean. I ain't mean it to be cheesy. Right. It is cheesy. Very cheesy. I like seafood. I like 
I like steak. Mm -hmm. So you just surfed my turf. But mm -hmm. you know, that applies in more than one way. Whatever, Nate. That's like an old school. You sound like a 40 year old when I'm lying, baby. You been running in my head all day. <laughs> no, I ain't never used that line. Well, that was just as corny. Will. That was just as corny. You mean, what's the highest go? You been running through my mind all day. You must be tired. Mm hmm. <laughs> you must have heard that before, huh? Baby. It wasn't for me. Dumb weak line. It wasn't for me. I think every woman heard it all. I don't do lines. And then some men do it because they're trying to be funny. I think they're going to make you laugh. That's to get you. Sometimes. Sometimes that's all it takes, though. It can be corny. And sometimes women like that. Because they like want to laugh. Right. Well. No. Mm hmm. I my shirt. Oh, you sure did. Yeah, that right there on the side. As much as I could. Mm well. Mm mm. <laughs> Look. I would never come up to somebody and say, Girl, you just surf to my turf. That don't even make no sense. It don't make sense though. Cause that's a mm -hmm. meal, surf and turf. That go together, baby. Yeah, it go together, but that's corny. Well, you my uh like Burton Ernie? Mm-hmm. You my Burton Ernie. You the Bunsen to my beaker? You remember Bunsen Beaker? No. Oh, that's a mystery. Well, Tom and Jerry to Woody Wood. Oh, no. Tom and Jerry what? Tom and Jerry. You my Tom to my Jerry? They hated each other. <laughs> Just say they, no. They, well, you know what? <laughs> Most couples hate don't, don't like each other, so it ain't no battle. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that wasn't. Hey, you got a lot of couples that don't like each other. They just stay. They still together. They still together. For real, for real. <laughs> you got people that have been married for 30, 40, 50 years. Mm hmm. And they, they can't stand each other. Yep. They don't get along. But they are just in a place where they're like, I'm content. I guess I ain't going nowhere else. Don't want to start over. Y'all, you know I mean? don't be reaching today because it's not us. Right, right. So you want to think about it. Somebody will say, uh-uh. It's not that right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. No. Man. He's a yin to my yang. Let's hurry down with him. Man, I heard hurry up. You Baby. know what? When you've been out of the game for a long time, it's hard to come up with a pickup line. Mm -hmm. You just go up and be real with people. Just be like, "Well, me, you, you be corny all the time." What's your name? Cause you been with me too long. I ain't trying to impress you, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You say this is chewy. Taste it. Woo! This is a. This he tasted the first time rice cakes. It's mm. very popular. Put the whole thing in your mouth. That's a no for me. You know what? I can't gain you. I ain't putting the whole thing in there. Babe, put the whole thing in your mouth. I like the spice. You like it? Mm-hmm. Ooh, excuse me. I liked it. My first time tasting it, I thought, I didn't know it was going to be like this. Rice cakes. Mm-hmm. It's like a big old rice. Piece of rice that's thick. It is. Ain't it? Because it's chewy. Mm-hmm. And it ain't a bad taste. Mm-mm. The flavor really is the sauce, though. Mm-hmm. The whatever it is, it doesn't... It's like a big piece of rice. Mm-hmm. Literally. Mm-hmm. Make it two more. Mm-hmm. Mm. But the spice one is really good. Oh. Flavorful. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Oh, my God. You gotta try. It's half full. <laughs> it's all supposed to be warm or hot. I think, I think they cook too warm. Keep it warm on my side a little mm -hmm. bit. My mm -hmm. time. No. Remember that one? I do. I remember it that way, though. Who was that? Who was that said that? Levert? That was Levert. Keep yep. it warm. Yeah, Levert, yeah. On my side of the bed. My side, my side. Yo, is that missing up songs? Wow. 
<laughs> wow. I'm mixing up songs, ain't I? Mm. Uh. Yo, I thought, I'm thinking I think I'm mixing up Trey Song and LaVert. Mm-mm. Keep it warm. Mm -mm. Remember? Whatever. Anyways. My side, side of the bed. bed. My side. Yep. Did mm -mm. they say that part? No. Oh. That part was not. That's that's another song. <laughs> yeah, well. Hey, baby, come on. Oh, my gosh. Together in any kind of weather. We both doing it. We No, baby, don't take a little bite. <laughs> no, because you be taking little bites and the little. We about to hit some corners. Be like one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, what? Two, two, two. You taking it to the head? Yeah, taking it to the I'm head. A, I'm going to hit a corner. Hit a corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit a corner. <laughs> Come ready? on, dude. You want to take a bite? Because I'm, I'm not going to put the in my I'm mouth. You going to take a bite? It's not. What did I'm taking a bite? Come on, Listen, right today. I did the blue uh, blue egg. Okay. Okay. If you can do the blue egg, you can do anything. That tastes, I bet you if you had a blue egg in this, what would you eat? That. Okay, then. I don't even know what it tastes like. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's. But the fact that let's. I know what the. Okay, ready? We doing the whole thing in the corner? No, no, we're going to the corner. You okay, said. Okay, hit the corner. Oh, I dropped mine. You do it on purpose. <laughs> okay. You said, oh, I dropped mine. You going to look at me. I do do it on purpose. <laughs> No, I ain't. You first. I, just, I did think you already had it in your mouth. That's why you look over at me. Okay, you ready? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, let me tell you what tofu tastes like. <laughs> let me tell you what tofu tastes like. Oh, what my gosh. Like? Egg white. Mm-mm. What? Mm. What is it? Is it supposed to be meat? Tofu is meat uh, product. I mean, mm -mm. I think it is, baby. Because sometimes they make taco, tofu tacos and yes, stuff. Yes, but it's a it's a substitute for meat. Uh, yeah, that's why I said it's a vegetarian substitute for meat. Right. It's not meat. Mm. That's not even close. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you this. This will be good if I ain't had meat in a long time. If you ain't taste meat in so long, this would be super de duper good. That would be fantastic if you was on a 21 day fast and you was just coming off. Uh huh. That's the onlyest time that's gonna be good for me. A twenty-one day fast. Yeah, you ain't Maybe nothing you ain't no in food. twenty-one days. <laughs> for real. Okay. Mm -hmm. I um, know. I know. People can make that taste better, but that right there. Uh uh. That's that. Eating that'll make you go back to meat. Mm. Right, error. Ooh, I think we probably have need to have it hot. That's kind of room temperature. I'm cold. Baby. I not bet you that tofu get cold quick. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, I got something in my eye. I that don't one. have an answer, but. Probably better hot. Somebody else out there probably say, I can make that tofu I'm sure. taste bomb. They probably bad. I'm sure because they be, they be making it look good. Mm-hmm. Because... I don't know they be making tacos out like that stuff. I ain't seen them. Usually, Pizza. usually if you can get kids to eat stuff like that, you know you're doing something. You you you're hooking it up that seasoning because mm. you can get kids to eat that because the texture is. So no for me. Mm. Okay. All right, how is exhibit B? Okay, what is it? Kimchi. Mm. Mmm. Baby? Mmm. Kimchi. Baby. You did a loo egg. Come on now. But I ain't know how to, you know, an egg is not. Baby. Good. Baby. Just let's get some good him kimchi. You know how to make this right. Baby, I already know you are going to say that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Dang, I didn't want you to mention that. Oh, okay, I'm going to get the red one because okay. it looks like it might have some more flavor. Ready? Yep. Set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Okay. Is that good? Why are you eating that milk right away? Because I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like kimchi. It don't have a flavor like that to me. Somebody told me I could attach a homemade one. Oh. It's got a lot of spice on it. Exhibit B. The one I had. Man, I, mean, me, I need C. some of them normal exhibits. That's normal exhibit. Oh, man. This is coleslaw. 
Korean mm. cold. Give me this stuff. That's fine. No. Super do it plain. It's literally cold flour with mayo. For real? Cabbage with mayo. Ain't Ooh. it? Ain't it? That is super plain. Mm hmm. You can't even taste the mayo. Hmm. That tastes like wet cabbage. That's how you feel. What's that? The pickle stuff? Mm hmm. Now, this is good. Mm hmm. I like that one. Yummy. That's good. That one's better. That one's garlic good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, it's definitely pickle. Mm -hmm. I like pickle stuff. Mm. You do? Mm hmm. You like pickles, period. Pickles and pickle stuff. Mm hmm. I can eat pickle. It's my thing. So y'all, y'all ready for that giveaway? Um, who's gonna be that? I sure can. And then, what day? Sunday. Sunday giveaway. Sunday, Sunday giveaway. Hey, Sunday, Sunday giveaway. Yeah, giveaway. Sunday, Sunday giveaway. <laughs> hey. <laughs> really? Dead giveaway. Giveaway. Who's that man? <laughs> that made up that I don't remember, but I remember laughing so hard at that. And he made a song out of that one. Uh, yep. Well, you know what? Oh, I don't remember. I remember the video, but I don't remember the words. Everybody be trying to do that now. Ooh, that was so funny. They be trying to be on the news and be just be crazy. Some of us are just crazy, too. Period. Yeah, <laughs> but ain't nobody um, served it like Sweet Brown. <laughs> ain't nobody served it like her. <laughs> she is the original. Mm -hmm. I said somebody, uh, I thought somebody was barbecuing. Yeah. I wanted a cold pop or she woke up to get a cold pop. That thing went viral. It went viral. Mm hmm. Mm mm mm. Baby, you ain't eating my rice cake. So, hey? of all of this, what's the best thing to you? Mm. Give me, give me a top, top three. It's all. Did you hear what you just said? Yeah, give me your top rank. I mean, put them in order. I know it ain't but three, but put them in order. <laughs> he said, give me your top three. Like, it's only three there. All right, put them in order. Uh-huh. Mm. Best thing to, you know. Okay. All right. I'm going to eat. So, so the steak coming in, number one. Mm-hmm. Okay, what else? Yeah, okay. Then the, the noodles? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then what? Black bean noodle. And then uh, white cake. I'm going to go with... Excuse same me. order. You know you know the steak coming in, number one, for sure. Oh, well, I said same order, because you, you only ate one rice cake. Yeah, so number two is the rice cake thing, and then I'm going to go with the noodles. Really? Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of it's got a good good spice flavor to it. It's an odd it's an odd texture. Maybe yeah. It's very odd texture. Oh, well, I say, I say. It. 
I mean, like I said, mostly all you can taste is the sauce. Mm -hmm. My sauce is good. Mm. And spicy. Mm -hmm. okay. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. That's what I think about it. It's a spice. Y'all know noodles. It's got good though. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm, fine. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. A little bit of spice, a little bit of steak. Mm-hmm. Definitely on hit though. What? That and uh mm hmm What was that? The other Korean place mm. you like that. Oh my god. What was that? It was the same thing. Mm. Korean beef. But it wasn't like a steak though. It was like sliced. You know what I mean? And, and soaking in a little, I mean, it was mm -hmm. in a dish. And that was good too. But this is like, literally like thin cut barbecue steaks. Mm hmm. On the bone. Mm hmm. Like, yo. Have y'all starving, starving? Like breakfast steak. You mm hmm. Know? This would be nice on some sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Some Miracle Whip. Oh. Hey. You hurt yourself. Don't be trying to, if we have something left, don't be trying to be making you, make, make me make you a Miracle Whip. Man, it's a Miracle Whip. Cheese, tomato. You had to take that bone back off. Oh, yeah, what? Man, we never did when I was little. Oh, you, oh, you found remember out the pork chops? They didn't ever take the bone out. They didn't uh, take the bone uh, You found out you had a bone, boy. You found out real quick. Yeah. People used to eat around that bone on them pork chop sandwiches. I heard you do. Eat around it. I didn't like pork chop sandwiches. I like thin ones, the thick ones I don't like. I don't like thick pork chop, right. pork chop period. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Some of these got a lot of fat on them. Mm-hmm. But that's holding that flavor, girl. Mm, I don't know. Give me a please give me a I'm not mm -hmm. Woo y'all I'm getting full in the neighborhood. Okay, I'm supposed to have a question. Ooh, what time is it? Baby. Baby. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I'll be I will be swapping. What what? Today? Cards. So you got questions? You got Just a few. Right here. You gonna help me? Okay. You gonna help me, please? What the question is? I don't even have. Let me say. I got some few. Uh, uh, just a couple, y'all. Of uh. Oh, we didn't do no thumbnail. Oh, Let's do one real quick. But this. <laughs> what else are we gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> Come on, go ahead. That's the thumbnail saying that we forgot. Yeah, oops. Upside your head. I said oops upside your head. Hey, oops upside your head. I said oops upside your head. Hey, oops upside your head. I said oops upside your head. That was from way back when. Way back in the day. Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. Back in the day. Remember that? That was yes, good. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, that's some slick Rick days. Bedtime oh, story. Oh yeah, yeah. We can go. Knock on out of the Rick. Knock them out, Rick. Hey. Knock, 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 knock. Yeah. Please, please. Okay. All right. <clears throat> what Let's you go. got? Let's go. Oh, you brought them all down? No. Heck yeah. You got them all down? Heck I'm yeah. Sure that's more. Heck yeah. Where'd that come from? I'm sure that's more. Under the sun. Hey, wait a minute. What you got? Lil Gil Mo Eats asks if <laughs> there was any way you can do a thumbnail without depending on the algorithm. Do I depend? Oh. He wait, said, what? what? Wait a minute, Lil Gilmo Lil Gilmo East. That's what this um question is from. A ask if there was any way you can do a thumbnail without depending on the algorithm. 
or do I depend on a YouTube to do it? I know what they say. Oh, yeah, you know, know how YouTube saying, yeah. it has <laughs> you sometimes when you're doing um um videos, y'all know YouTube always have three suggested yeah, pre selected uh, pre uh, uh thumbnails. And those be the worst thumbnails <laughs> in the world. It be having you look in claps. I promise you. Yeah, and I yeah. used to use them too. Sometimes the sometimes they'll yeah, catch a good one. Mm-hmm. Um and then other times, most of the time, like you, you way out there, you know, you you got something all in your face mm-hmm. or something like that, because they trying to catch catch a good close up mm-hmm. facial. I would just suggest to um for him that he could use Pick Monkey. Yeah, use Pick Monkey or I Picky mm-hmm. um to create your thumbnail. And then if you're using your editing software and it has a a little thumbnail exporter <clears throat> click you know find it in the video where you want your thumbnail to be or if you really are planning out your thumbnails ahead of time go ahead and do that <clears throat> make your thumbnail and then export that little frame that one frame where your fit where your picture is and then make your thumbnail out of that mm-hmm. <clears throat> can you I certainly can. and so that's about it for a little demo. <clears throat> yeah so there you go little demo. Lil Gilmo Eats. I'm sure they have a channel, so go check them out. Tiara Blackston. Tiara. Mm-hmm. Tiara Blackston. I was wondering how can I get the support that I need so my channel will be able to grow. And with that being said, I would say that you should go on um, YouTube. I mean, Facebook. Facebook. And try to um, join different forums. Um, that's the way to grow. Another way to grow is to go on Instagram. Post on Instagram um, probably different clips of the videos that you are going to pre that you're going to set out for that day. Um, so you just need to put like 59 second clips onto Instagram, and that will help to get your um, traffic. Yeah, traffic to your YouTube channel. Also, you need probably need to. Support other other people that are doing the same like content that you are doing. If you support them and you know go on over there, and let them know. Look, yeah, I have a page too. Let's support each other. This and that. So I mean, that sometimes work. Like and that's about it. Beat Facebook the too. Beat the streets. Have you have, get you some little uh, some cards. cards? Get yep. you some cards and let people know. Look, I do YouTube. You can pass them out if they see you with your camera. If you're vlogging, people are going to be curious about what, what, why, who are you? What, what do right. you do? That that brings on questions when you out in the public. When they see that camera and you holding it, trust and believe you're gonna get some lookers. And when you do, hey, here's my card. Yeah. Easy conversation, easy way to, 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 to you know let them know what you have. Absolutely. Isaiah Kelly, where did you get that elevated tray you had in your seafood bowl? <laughs> Which one? Right we didn't here. Use many of, but this right one right here. here. This is a this is a laptop. Um, Venture where you where you put your laptop on. Yeah, it's you, a laptop cooling. To keep, yeah, cooling. Thing where you can kind of tilt your laptop you, up and work right from, from the bed. And you can get this from Best Buy. Or probably Walmart or mm-hmm. anywhere they sell computer something. stuff. Yeah, it you it know. tilts like this to a, an angle. And a it's got angle. it's got little steps you can tilt more, but obviously you, you oh food you can slide off. yeah, but food will slide off your plate. I want it like this. Yeah, you want your food on the table, don't you? It don't matter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's that? G- Giarda. Giarda. Yeah, Giarda. Okay, Kelly Giarda. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyways, Kelly Giada, Giada said, what if you don't know what you want your channel to be? That's very, very common for startups. It is. And you know what? You just kind of, you start, you just kind of do you and see what kind of traction you get. And, yeah. you know, kind of go off what your audience is, is liking or disliking. And, but be true to yourself and, you know, kind of put stuff out there. You start off just doing what you wanted, like like her. She started off. She said, "I want. I just want to do some cooking videos." So mm-hmm. she just started doing cooking videos, and and then people started liking the cooking videos. But they also wanted her to start doing mukbangs, so she started doing mukbangs, and she kind of transitioned, mm-hmm. and now bringing the cooking back. So just kind of start where you start and figure out like. <laughs> yeah, the camera cut off, and I it cut off right when I said like. So I came back in with the. Like. Like. Okay. You think it's going to be that easy? We're going to see how that go together. Right. And <laughs> y'all see my face go. 
with the little glitch, you know I jumped the video. Whatever. And cut out. Anyways. Also, so I want to add with that is whatever you do, whatever content you do, make sure you do something that you are going to be happy to do, happy with. Because if you get on this camera and you do something like, oh, this is well boring every day, you are going to lose it. And people are going to know that you are not happy with what you're doing and you need to exit to the left, exit to the right. To the left. Exit to the left or exit to the right, Okay. For real. Meaning, do something that you are willing to do. Well, uh, what, what I suggest, too, is um, looking at other things on YouTube that you find interesting. And maybe you can, you know, work, go from there and say, okay, I can do that. I don't think I would be happy doing that, you know, whatever. Because most people that do on YouTube anyway do things that's trending. Right. Flow with your personality, though. And then, and then you know, switch it up with your personality, who you are as a person. That's just the reality of it, you know. Okay, she also asks, what if you start your channel as an unboxing channel and end up doing random things, Things would that hurt my channel? You know what I have to say about that? I feel that if you start your channel unboxing, just for example, and then all of a sudden your channel does really, really well and it start blowing up, I suggest that you, you really, really start... Start to bond with your audience, you know, really, really develop that engagement and try to, you know, know who your supporters are. And then once you grab their attention and you got, you built that relationship with them, then you gradually try starting to, you know, add other things because it's more of a friendship thing now that it's becoming more of a personable thing. You yeah, know what you I'm got saying? A connection with your you audience. got a connection with them and now they saying, Oh, I would like to see it get ready with me. Oh, I would like to see this about you because they're knowing you as a person of who you you know, they learning to know who you really have become on camera. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's when you should add it. When you when you know your channel is doing really, really well and you already got your core group that's going to stick with you no matter what, basically. Yeah. Basically, in, in a man's terms, I used to watch the Bulls all the time. Love the Bulls because, you know, I'm from Illinois, so we all love the Bulls. And then I found out after MJ left that I was really a Michael Jordan fan. fan. So in, in the same way that she's saying, you get to know the personality mm -hmm. and you really connect with a person more so than the content. Yeah. And so you, you really want to see what's going on in their life and connect with them and, and talk with in them. Every way. And make it more of a friendship. Than yeah. anything else. Yeah. Your content will evolve. Right. And it will not hurt your channel. And I don't know what people get to saying. It's stable. Mm -hmm. so focus on one thing and that's it. One thing. And that's not true. You can do whatever you want to do on your channel. You, If you have the audience and you have some really good, true supporters. And there's a lot of people out here that watch YouTube that are very, very good supporters. They're amazing people. So you, you know, I think you'll be fine with that. I would say, though, if you're going to go somewhere drastically different than what you've been doing, like, for example, if you do unbox unboxings on tech stuff like phones or oh, yeah. cameras or something like that, and, and you built a large following for your tech reviews, don't switch over to doing something else because people come to you because of your expertise uh, for the knowledge you have on the devices. That's different. That's different. That's the personality you're giving them is your expertise on those devices. You can't just be like, oh, I'm going to do family vlogs now. Right. <laughs> That's not going to work. True. That's I not mean, gonna work. I mean, but if she does, if, the, if that person, it's a she, if she wants to do unboxing for, you know, like anything, oh, yeah. like makeup. Oh, yeah. Or unboxing a toy or, you yeah. know, a, a, you know, appliance item. That's yeah, different. that's different. That's but different. yeah, I know what you're saying with tech reviews. With people are techies gonna come there just for that. Because I'm and coming because you know to, what you talking about. And they about. mostly they mostly gonna be men, right? That's coming to your page, and men ain't gonna hardly be interested in you doing a day in the life of me. We are different. Y'all, when it comes to what yeah, we watch, ain't trying to we see like that. we coming for a specific. I'm looking up something specifically, and I'm going to your page for uh, tech. You know, like real sound tech advice. Because like I was saying, when I look up something, I'm looking up something specifically. I'm going to use specifically for something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, you change to something else, I'm not going to find you. And know this. Get to the point right away. For real. Because he's the one. Oh, I ain't asked you all that, man. For real. I ain't asked you all that. Yeah. And he be going, going, going. And we be like, danger. Right. You want some food, Darius? Okay, that's too much. Okay. So, anyways, that's what we saying. 
Okay, also, how do you know what type of channels are trending? Uh, One, yeah. they have a trending page, y'all. They have a trending page. You can see what all that's trending. Number two, if you see a lot of things that a lot of people are doing and it's repetitive, like seafood balls, they're very repetitive, that is trending. If you see a lot of people doing mukbangs, that's trending. Whatever you see that's trending, you will know. So it's something that's very, very popular. Everybody's doing it. And people look at these bigger channels that have a millions of views or whatever, millions of subscribers. If they're whatever they're doing, then it's most likely it's trending. And just make sure that what you see, just because you see a lot of it, make sure it's new stuff. Not because you'll find a lot of videos on something and it'd be like a year old, six uh -huh. months old. Uh -huh. You know, try to stay current, stay fresh. Uh -huh. um, use Google Trends. Uh, uh huh. Mm-hmm. And what else was it? Google Trends. Google, Google Trends. YouTube Trends. Mm-hmm. In the Google Trends thing under there, there's an option for YouTube Trends or mm -hmm. YouTube. Do you have any apps on your phone that will recommend recommend are helpful with YouTube? YouTube Studio. That's Creative Studio? Yep. YouTube Studio. And I don't even use that, Holly. I really go... I straight go to my analytics for everything. Yeah, but it's like a quick quick way to view some of the stuff that you want. When you want to deep dive, then yeah, you got to go into analytics, but it'll show you like your views your views and stuff like that. And yeah, and it helps you to be able to answer all your comments in a, er, that a like. strategic, uh, strategic way, like yeah. in order it, as it they like, come. It goes in order as they come on any video right. that you got out there. So it's not like you got to go to one video and answer comments on right. it. They come for all the videos. They also have other apps on YouTube, uh, other apps about YouTube, about, uh, you know, if you want to collab and different things like that, which I never have gotten into them, and I think you have to pay for it. They'd be like $4.99 one time or whatever. So I don't really want to tell you to do that because anything that, that you have to pay for, I don't know if it'd be worth it or not because I haven't used it. So that's just something to look for. If you want to look up um, at little apps about YouTube, YouTube support, YouTubers trying to uh, subscribers or whatever, you can do that. Yeah, we got fame. I got fame bit on mine too. So yeah, we do. Want, when you get to a certain point, you're grand. looking for subscribers or I mean for uh, collabs or promotions. 10,000 yeah. more, yeah. Would you create a new Instagram for your channel specifically? Yes, I will. Would. Yeah. If you want to do Insta, um, try to do this and grow your channel, you want to make your Instagram a professional look, a professional page, because and eventually you want to you want to use it as a promotion um, right. site where you can do use you know for money for you to for you get extra money. So my thing is, yes, you do want to separate your Instagram from what you when you take your pics and you know when you are in your family pics or maybe right. pics it out with your girlfriends and different things like that. You want to keep that separate from your business, from your actual page. Definitely. Right. Um should your channel be na be name be your real name? No. No. Do it your I mean people know my real name because I just talk too much. Yeah, I would say no, only because you got to remember, you may start this and this may be something that you, you want to do long term, uh -huh. but maybe you don't have the ability to do that long term right now. Uh -huh. And so therefore, everybody you work with <laughs> uh -huh. in your current job is going to know who you are because your name is on there. And remember, when you go and apply for other things, your social, your... Um, your web profile, your internet profile is out there everywhere for everybody to see. So I would say use an alias of some sort uh, when you start. And then if you want to reveal to your subscribers later who you really are, great. Go for it. Because mm -hmm. some people just say their first name. They let them know. My name is whatever. And that's fine. Um, should your... Okay. No. How did you come up with stay safe and stay blessed? Yeah. It's whatever come know. out of her mouth. It's whatever come out of my mouth for real. <laughs> that's how I am at home, y'all. I'm, I'm truly like this. Whatever... I say some weirdest things that come out of my mouth and everybody looks at me like, huh? It just is what it is. I just I just say what I feel at that moment. And I guess I stuck with it. That's what it is. Um, Melanated Queen Balance. That's her name. That's her channel name or something? I guess. Okay. Asks, what program do you use for your background and the green screens? We don't really use a program. With green screens, people think that the green screens yeah, are a program. So, so, it is. Um editing software but lots of different types of editing software uh, can be used to do green screen also called chroma keying um, we currently use Adobe Premiere Pro uh, a lot of people use um, what's the what's the Apple version Final Cut, Final Cut Pro 
Darius is back here, y'all. Okay. Final Cut Pro. Some people use that. And there's other ones that, that allow you to do chroma key. Uh, you basically got to get a green screen and light it, you know, correctly. And then after you get your green screen all lit correctly and you chroma key it, then you can go out and look for backgrounds that fit the size of your green screen, whether you're doing HD or 4K or whatever. Just find some good backgrounds that are crisp and clean and clear, and you can use them uh, as overlays. That's it. And you find it where? You can find them on the internet. Find yeah. them on Google. I don't. We don't pay for them. You, you can pay for them. Some people. Some have people. Them. Some people them, think that we got to pay for them, but you don't have to pay for them. And just remember, you know, like like this setup right here with me and, and her in the picture. There's not a lot of green speed, green screen space there for a background. So don't go crazy on, ooh, I love how that looks. Because most of that ain't going to be seen because it's behind us. Right. All right. So think about that when you're, using, when you're choosing backgrounds. Okay, I got two more questions, y'all. Article 13 and what it means for our YouTube channel career. So those of you don't probably don't know, but there is a, a thing called Article 13, which is a thing where they're trying to pass in Europe, the European city or whatever EU, you yeah. I mean EU. you know EU right European and they are trying to so, um shut a lot of YouTube just keep talking girl I'm looking at Darius face he's always looking crazy channels down you know they're trying to um shut down YouTube over there by copyright anything that's copyright they'll be able to shut you down so and a lot of people are scared and afraid that they're gonna uh adopt that and put it over here in the USA where they're gonna be doing that my thing is if you have a clean channel, you don't have to worry about that. Pretty much. Anything that you do, like, they're trying, trying to shut down channels that are using copyright material as far as music. Copyright material as far as, you know, when you put a little clip in of somebody's doing something and then you go back to your clip. They're yeah. trying to shut you down. So, my thing is, if you do anything that's clean... You ain't got no music, you ain't got no clips, you ain't got nothing, you don't have to worry about nothing. Or if you use like YouTube's audio library uh, for content that is approved for use yeah. with YouTube, or if you create your own music, backgrounds, beats, whatever, you should be good to go. Uh, it's not that you can't use anything, just use stuff that's not uh, copyrighted. Yep. Don't use other people's stuff. You that's, should be good. That's basically it. So the article 13, I wasn't worried about. I was only worried about you if you're a person that likes to do a lot of clips. Lot, and then them intros. Y'all, yeah, them intros. Them intros. I don't, that's why I stay away from that stuff. I'm not, like right now, let me just tell you something. YouTube is cracking down on that stuff. They're trying to really adopt, I'm trying to look at people's um, channels more closer now with these intros. Because sometimes they'll flag you. You're like, wait, how did they get flagged for that? Yeah, I mean, if you guys remember my channel, Man in the House, um, I had that little intro in there. And I kid you not, it was 17 seconds long. And YouTube's policy is, I think it's seconds. 28 or 30 seconds that you were supposed to be allowed to do. But the algorithm will flag your video and processing. And all of a sudden, you can't get monetized right. for the first you have day yourself. or two. Mm -hmm. And you hurting it because that's when you get the most views. So, right. it's no point in doing it. Just come up with something different. Or create your own beats. Make your intro totally from your you know, your own content. Mm -hmm. And you're good. Right. So, just like I said, just keep it clean. Like, I really wanted to do stuff for our, our um, million thing. Oh, yeah, but no. we ain't going to be able to do that, y'all. Because I'm not trying to get flagged. Because Dalvin just got flagged recently on his intro. Out of the blue. Been using it forever and ever. Been using and it forever, but they saying that YouTube is trying to crack down because let me tell you, if that they have adopt that policy, Article Thirteen over here in the USA for YouTube, that means that you'll anything see a lot that happens, yeah, you're gonna see a lot of channel channel changing, a lot of channels um getting dropped, and you're gonna also see that YouTube can get sued as well in the process. So, oh, because, yeah, because they're allowing right, content for Right, people. that's copyright. Yeah, that's copyright. So they're trying to protect themselves. So you guys keep that in mind when you're doing these intro if you ever get flagged. Okay, can you share the info as far as the website we can go to to see how much fellow YouTube channels are approximately making each month? That is Social Blade. So if you go, if you guys want to see how much YouTubers make, any YouTubers in the database, go to Social Blade <coughs> and you'll be able to see the income. Uh, other YouTubers. Yep, and just know when you're out there that um, that's not that's not all of their income. They do, you know, some people do um, 
collabs or promotions with other companies um, on the side. and they have endorsement deals and all this other stuff. So that may not be all that YouTuber yeah. makes. That's just one thing, one part of the income. That's only from ads. Let's just say that. Right. Ads That's only. Ads and yeah. when you do look at the, the number, sometimes it's more. It can be way, you know, way more than what that what they're showing or it can be a little less. Right. You know, so you can't go by a verbatim what it is, but it's pretty some most of the time if you have a clean channel, it's close or it's more. So yeah, y'all, just use socialblade.com and you baby look up anybody you want to look up and that's about it. I will look again, you guys, if you got more questions for YouTube Q&A and I'll either have Nate uh Zaddy or is Darius on here helping me with these questions? And we'll go as we do as much as we can because I know a lot of people are starting their channel, and you know we're trying to be helpful as much as we can. And look forward to that tour of my studio. Yep, that's coming out. That's coming out real soon, so you guys can get ready, prepare for the next year when you do start your channels. Um, like I said, anything you want to ask, Q and A, ask me on. At beloves to cook at gmail.com. I'm going to write your stuff down and we'll go from there. Yeah, for tech stuff, uh, you'll see I put out the video on the YouTube studio or this studio, um, but I didn't give any contact information. So hit me up on Instagram at man in the house. It's M A N N D A H O U S E um, for Instagram. And then I'll answer your questions for tech related stuff there. Only tech. Only tech y'all <laughs> only recording and setups and stuff like that and for me you can follow me at b loves life too and, and i'm sure you know that me. no 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 we no okay. you're not in this video right. <laughs> darius and Dalvin, i was trying to plug themselves darius underscore gaskin is my username anyway okay y'all that's uh, about it we for the sign out there is that it yes and my name is darius it's serious. I don't want. I'm trying to be one name right now, mom. No, it's serious. Whatever. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone, everyone. Let them know what your girl is doing on this channel with the fam bams and or by herself. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so 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 much. Don't forget to stay safe and stay blessed. Peace, peace, peace love, and hair grease.